good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Your Music Live here on Studio Live today for yet another week. We've got 30 plus tracks of awesome to play for you here today. The best independent music from around the world. And we do it each and every week thanks to these folks right here. Yeah, the wonderful folks at Distro Kid. If you're an independent artist and there's a good chance you are if you're watching this show, check out Distro Kid. You can release your music to Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Deezer, Amazon Tidal, all the places. And all you do is pay one yearly subscription. And you can save yourself 7% off your first year on any subscription plan by using the link up there or down in the description we got too much music for me to keep rabbiting on so let's crack into our first tune this one comes to us from longtime channel fan or fan of mine or no i'm a fan of hers Let's start that again. Longtime supporter of this channel, and that is Leela Lou Reality. And uh, she says, this is my first attempt at remixing an old song from over a year ago using advice from Russ8889. Not that he's to blame for my lack of skill. 73 BPM lo-fi ballad changes into Psytrance at 146. I like the idea of that, and I thought it was a cool way to kick us off here today. So, a Lou Reality Way Too Late remixed edition here on Your Music Live to kick things off. Let's do it. awake coming in you probably are now if like me you're here in australia and it's early morning that's uh, going to be rattling your your teacups or your coffee cups with uh, a little bit of loo reality there and uh, way too late remix great job there from leela and uh, yeah, just wonderful stuff to kick things off and to get the blood pumping. And we've got a whole bunch more where that came from. If it's your first time here and you want to submit a track for future consideration, there's a little QR code there or a link down in the description. It's just studiolivetoday.com slash YML. And you can be like Leela or let's, let's in fact, let's keep the vibe up. Let's keep things pumping along here with PA pronounce it alternative and uh, she's got a track here called wish i had uh so we're going to jump over to germany for the second track of your music live pa wish i had here on your music live Just amaze me. Amaze me. Use a mango of dough. And that 
Pronounce it alternative out of Germany there. And another fantastic song. Always puts a lot of energy and effort into the videos too. I think that can make it. Uh, that can really take a great song. Take a great song and make it better. Just by having that visual element as well. So go and check out PA. By the way, at the end of the show, all of the links will be in the description. So if you're watching in the replay, if you're in the future, hello. What's it like in the future? But uh, you can jump down in the description because all of the links will be there. For, for the live show, I like to keep you on your toes so that you don't have every song in order and you get a little bit of surprise there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, I agree, Mr. Scott Borthwick. Great track from PA, but aren't they? Oh, yeah, she's got, she's got a style, but enough variation. I think a lot of folks, like PA, y- you hear a song and you're like, yeah, this sounds like PA. And then you hear another song, and you're like, it, it sounds like it sounds like her style, but it's got a different kind of vibe to it. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. I think sometimes we get too obsessed with, oh my God, all my songs sound the same. They don't. But you're allowed to have a similar style. Guns N' Roses, Metallica, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, they've all got their styles. They just vary on, vary on your style. So you don't have to, don't stress out. A lot of people worry too much about making everything different. Doesn't have to be different all the time. Someone who is different all the time, or can be, and has a lot of uh, range and variation in their music, but has their own style, and that's our very own Kronk song, Mark Kronk song, Lovell. If you like the little theme music we play at the start here, the Your Music, Your Music, Your Music Live, that's not me, that's this guy, that's Kronk song, and this week he's actually got a collaboration with his son, yeah, you might have heard we've played an artist called Heck on the show before. I think this is the first time that Kronk Song and Heck have actually joined forces, or maybe they've done it before, but uh, it's the first time I can remember. They say this is a collaboration with Heck, son of Kronk. Uh, Heck recorded his vocals in FL Studio in his student house and sent me the stems. I then added them to my garage band project. His singing made this song, in my opinion. Hope you like it from Kronk. So uh, let's, uh, let's jump on over to the cloud of sounds. Let's uh, Kronk this one up to 11 and take a listen to Leave It All Behind, Kronk's song featuring Heck, your music live. Oh 
tries to block it out, but still can hear the sound. She's so fixed in the bounce. Her blue skies are overcast. How can I draw those clouds say about that one yes that is heck on vocals son of cronk and cronk song there definitely a different uh, different feel got that cronk song kind of vibe but a li- slightly different kind of feel on the vocals there and it definitely works well it must be a very proud cronk there <laughs> to produce something like that and i love that yeah a little bit of a beatles vibe a very cool little tune and i love the i love the song but i also love the fact that you can just do this stuff so uh, heck, I think is away at uni. I think uh, I think Kronk was saying living in student accommodation, and just you know sitting there recording in some vocals, grabbing those stems, sending them over to Dad, who just puts it into a rock and garage band project, and uh, that's the result that you get. So hopefully that's inspired a few of you out there to that you can just get stuff done. Like don't stop stop talking about it. Stop talking about those those tracks you're going to create or that collaboration you want to do, and get on and bloody do it. Be like Kronk song. Or be like our next artist, which is, we're going to stay over in the UK for our next artist. This is Mr. S.M. Borthwick. Speaking of long-time collaborators on this channel, we played an S.M. Borthwick track on the very first Your Music Live. And now we're nearly three years in on episode 150, bloody one. And we're going to play another track from S.M. Borthwick. He says, hi, Pete. Hope you're well. I've spent a lot of time recently writing songs, but not getting around to recording them. Yep. Guilty as charged right here. I finally managed to focus on this one. I've gone a bit meta by writing a song about writing a song. Using the struggle of the Pearl Diver as a metaphor of those going hunting for perfect words. Dedicated to all you wonderful songwriters who dive deep to discover the pearls we enjoy so much. Love it. Word, beautiful wordplay even in the description there from Scott. Love your work, mate. Uh, let's give this one a spin. It's Pearl Diver, SM Borthwick on your music live. You find the strength for one more dive 
must be this time, this time You don't know how you made it back alive With your fists clenched around nothing at all Your empty-handed cold and shame full of sorrow Sorrow But remember the pearls you don't find today will still be there M. Borthwick, Pearl Diver. Hopefully that encourages and inspires you to go diving for those musical pearls yourself. And yes, as Scott said, there have been a few tracks between YML number one and 151. Uh, Scott's a, a contributor to Song Temba every year. If you're not familiar with Song Temba, Hang around. You will be soon. We're coming up. We're, we're quickly coming up. I won't, I won't wish your summers away for those in the Northern Hemisphere, but yeah, September will be here before you know it. And here on uh, your oh, on Studio Live today, we call September Song Timber because we all get together and we create our own tracks and we share them with the community. So thank you again to SM Borthwick for that one. And thank you to our wonderful sponsors, DistroKid. Yeah, if you're an independent creator and you, like Scott, want to get your music out there to the world, to your Spotify's, your Apple Music's, your Deezer's, your Titles, your Amazon's, your Spotify, your, all the places. Like, you just get them everywhere. All you need to do is uh, join DistroKid, save yourself 7% off your first year, and then start uploading. It's as simple as that. And I'll talk a little more about DistroKid after a couple more tracks, because we've got uh, this one here from Last Arrow, and uh, we're going to stay over in the UK, in fact. They say, playing together during rainy days in Nottingham, England, and sunny days in Kefalonia. <laughs> Last Arrow return with their third album, Jigsaws. The band take a DIY approach to recording artwork and music videos, self-recorded over a number of years between family commitments and lockdown. The positive vibes of lead single Only Sunshine are sure to brighten up radio airwaves this spring. Mixed and mastered by fellow Create Record release alumni Jason from Lambert Drive Studios in Ontario, Canada. Yeah, so this is, a, this is a really cool story, and uh, I saw this track come out, and I put a comment on straight away going, hope this is coming my way for YML, because uh, the, these gents and Jason uh, are all members of the Create Record Release family and community, so uh, if you haven't joined the Facebook group or the Discord, they're the official groups of uh, Studio Live today, and it's really cool when we have folks like this come together, collaborate, and uh, utilize each other's expertise and experience, and I think you're going to agree that the end result is pretty bloody good. This is over only sunshine last arrow on your music live Tension when I think it all through Compiling Nothing in to take you learn Just making some room I get out of my room And I will sweep it all up Sweep it all up oh, Sweep it all up And now There is no
on your music live with an absolute bop there. There's a few things I love about that one. I, I, I dig the vibe. I love the dynamics in that. I've said this umpteen times here on the show, but too often these days, music's just like, it starts and it's just at the same level, the same volume, the same vibe all the way through. And it's clear that the last hour of Gents uh, listened to a lot of the same music that I did and were inspired by a lot of that because it had that real kind of 90s jam feel where you, you, you have like the really the, the quiet bits and the loud bits and it just works really well because you have that rise and then you have that poppy, catchy chorus and then it just chills a little bit and then it rises again and uh, just does a really good thing. So uh, very, very cool stuff there. Go and check out Last Arrow over on the YouTubes. Uh, it'll be linked down in the description at the end of the show and follow along because, yeah, they're doing good things. And again, I love the story. There's a couple of good stories already here in the show. Uh, we've had well, we've had a bunch. We've had Scott Borthwick, who has been around this channel for a very long time, continues to keep getting better and better with his productions from YML1 to 151. We've had Kronk Song bringing his son into the fold and doing some great collaborations across distances and then we have last arrow there joining forces with uh, with jason from lambert drive studios and creating cool stuff so well done all round i know i'm i've got good things to say today I'm, i've got i'm energized i'm back <laughs> i'm a week back the jet lag is finally starting to fade away uh, and we're ready to rock and roll uh, it is time it's time to talk distro kid and before we do so i'm going to play our slap of the week because uh, in case you were aware if you haven't started using DistroKid yet, I recommend jumping over to slaps.com because it's like DistroKid Lite. It's a free version of DistroKid where you can actually share your music here. And I'm going to play this one here from David Prune. Uh, you can see here I've, I haven't actually signed in. Let's let's sign back into DistroKid so I can actually follow along here because slaps.com is a great platform for sharing your music for free. And uh, you can see here you can follow different artists here. It's as easy to share a song as hitting the share button, copying the link in there, which is exactly what David has done here. And the artist's name is C. SP, which actually stands for Certain Skeletal Pieces, which is a very cool name. Uh, and uh, David says about this one, I made this in my home studio in GarageBand. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you, Pete, for your encouragement and help at learning GarageBand. Well, you're very, very welcome. And uh, I think this one uh, is, a, is a track that slaps. Hence why it can be on slaps.com. So we'll play this one and then uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about Distro Kid. This is simply called Happy Acoustic here on Your Music Live. <laughs>
nice sitting around uh, without a smile on your face listening to something like that. Yeah, Happy Acoustic is definitely a very good name for it. And uh, a very good place to share it is right here on slaps.com because we can do a few things here. We can throw some fire on the track, as you saw there. Hit the fire button, tell folks what part of the track you like. You can save it in there. Really easy to share your tracks from here. And we can even come down here and say, yeah, uh, just spun this on YML. Epic. There you go. So it's a really good place to share your music and it's for free, slaps.com. Once you've checked out slaps.com and you're ready to release your music, jump on over to DistroKid because for one yearly subscription, you can release an unlimited amount of songs, EPs and albums. And as you can see here by my vast back catalogue, I've taken full advantage of DistroKid's kindness and the ability to release an unlimited amount of music. The plan that I recommend is this one in the middle here. You can start from just as little as $1.92 per month. That's half a cup of coffee. Sorry, district kid aren't as lame as that. They don't do the whole, oh, for as little as a cup of coffee a month, you can, no. No, they just say $1.92 a month, $22.99 per year, and that is an unlimited musician plan. The Musician Plus plan, though, has a few extra things here. We've got things like synced lyrics for Instagram. You get some more stats. You get a custom label name. You can customize your release date. You can set pre-orders and iTunes pricing, and you get two different artists. So for me, I've got two artist names. I've got Pete Johns, and I've got Righty Doki, my kind of alternative artist name, and I can use both of those on the Musician Plus plan. And what I wanted to show you here today is the power of your metadata. So if you've released your songs and you haven't added lyrics to them, and I'm preaching to myself here because I haven't added lyrics to a lot of my songs here as well. But the good thing that you can do here is if you come into any one of your songs here, let's just pick one at random that I probably haven't put the lyrics onto. So this is my song called Things Change. And if we come down here, yeah, look at this. I haven't set up my lyrics. I haven't got plain lyrics or synced lyrics on this one. So this is a job for me to do uh, soon. Sure, let's go with that. But if you want to see all the places where you can add lyrics, if you come in here and you go to your Enhance Your Music and you go to Lyrics, you'll see all the hard work that I have ahead of myself because look at all this that I haven't done here. So don't be like John's. But for the ones that I have actually added, here's the benefit. So this song, Anxiety, I've got plain lyrics and synced lyrics in there because I've got that Musician Plus plan. Let's say someone was searching for the song Anxiety, but they've forgotten what it's called. Well, here's the cool thing about adding your lyrics is that folks can search for your songs by lyrics. So if people know that the start of my song is you say the time for hope is gone, but they don't remember it's called anxiety, check that out. How quick and easy is that? Your, your song's going to come straight up there. So if someone hears your song in the background, say they're listening to your music live and they don't know who you are, but they know a line of your song. If you've set your lyrics up properly because you're awesome and you use DistroKid, guess what? folks can find your music as simple as that so there's a lot of other cool things under the hood here like once you get started once you jump in here and you look at all the different things you can do the wheel of playlist the, the playlist spotlight there's slaps.com that we talked about before all the different ways you can generate free videos you can generate there free little mini uh, cards for your social media the hyper follow so that folks can jump in and find your music distro kid have got a heap of stuff going on over there and we thank them greatly for their on going support of your music live go check them out and as jade says save yourself seven percent off on your first year on any distro kid plan simply by using the link in the description should we play some more music yeah we've got another hour and a half of a great music for you including this next track this one comes to us from sock the warrior who we've heard from quite a few times here and is always creating great music they say i've had some health issues uh, for about the last five years that I've been constantly been going to doctors and I'm sick and tired of it. Wrote a song for it. I also believe this song is uh, my cussing debut. Well, there you go. Get ready for a little cussing because this is Socks the Warrior and uh, this is a track called Apple. And we're going to play it live on your music. And I have tried 
keeps you in the medical roundabout system uh, of insurance and no. uh, <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm just back from the US, so uh, I got I got opinions, I got thoughts on uh, on some of the things going on in the medical industry. It's like, why, what, 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 what is with the advertising? Why is every single ad for some drug, and why do the side effects always sound much worse than any benefit that's ever going to give you? I know it's cliched at this point, but a really cool song, a thought provoking song there, and you can he- you can hear and feel the angst in that one. Uh, really cool stuff, really well produced, and uh, love hearing it. Oh yeah, I, I'm. Re- See, this is the thing. Like, this is my chance to listen to music. I don't get enough time to listen to music. So, as much as I love doing this show, as much as it's great to showcase your talent and to share this music with the world, hey, selfishly, it's my time to just rock out to music. So I get, I get to as much benefit as you folks do. Probably more. Probably more. Yeah, you like my background? Um, I don't know. I, I've decided that I'm using AI artwork to just create really weird, trippy backgrounds um, for my thumbnails. So that's that's where we're going with this sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, so a lot of them say side effects include death. And um, ads for hospitals, I mean, don't get me started. It's weird. I got back to Australia and I'm watching TV the other day and there's like ads for, like there's community service announcements and there's ads for like non-profits and charities and things. And I realized for the entire time that I was in the US, and look, it's probably not indicative, I'm sure it happens sometimes but there was not one single ad that wasn't pure capitalism that wasn't 100 percent trying to get me to spend money on something whether it was a double bk burger to cause the health issues or come to presbyterian memorial hospital to solve the health issues so yeah it's a pretty easy jigsaw puzzle the pieces just fit together nicely like that let's uh let's move on we're gonna play one more song and then we are gonna do our play my fire beat now if you haven't been around the channel a long time play my fire beat is your opportunity to have one of your songs played right here on the show even if you didn't submit one even if you haven't uh, you haven't put one in the past or you don't have one on the playlist for today you can win it's like an instant win like a scratch ticket but hopefully not as addictive and it doesn't cost you anything. Before we do that, let's grab this one from Dream Canvas. They say, another Dream Canvas early concept I've been working on. Tracked everything, but didn't do too much mixing and mastering. Just enough to get the idea brought to life. We are hoping to release an EP this year and love hearing your feedback. So there you go. You've got carte blanche to give your feedback on this one from Dream Canvas. It is called You, and we're going to play it live on your music live. Definitely, for, for an early concept indeed. 
Sounds really good. It's got, uh, I love the tones. Uh, the guitar tones in there really complement each other well. The clean guitar tone on top with that nice, it's a distorted tone, but it's, it, and it's crunchy, but it's almost like a smooth crunchy. It's like, you know, crunchy peanut butter. It's not got the bits in it, but it's still got the grit. It's like a Reese's peanut butter cup texture. I'm getting a bit weird here, I know. <laughs> but it works really well with that. And like the drums, just like... It's like you can't not bob your head to that thing, yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, once you flesh that one out with some some more some more stuff in there, yeah, you're onto a winner there. Very good job, indeed. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good good stuff indeed. Uh, let's uh, let's jump in because it is time to do our play. My fire beat. This is one of my favourite parts of the week because I get to come up with uh, <laughs> with. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crunchy. So in, in honor of peanut butter, uh, we're going to... Whoop, did I use the right... I didn't select the right one there. Yes, I did. All right. So we're here in the right thing. Uh, we've got a code word. So if you haven't been here before and you don't know what this is all about, um, this is our Play My Fire Beat. If you're here live, all you need to do is right here in the chat, put a hashtag in the word crunchy. Just think of, uh, of crunchy granola. Is that Neil Diamond? Did he have a song called Crunchy Granola? Anyway, hashtag crunchy, C-R-U-N-C-H-Y. If you put that in the chat right now, you'll go into the drawing and one of you is going to win a play. It's like the jukebox. Uh, it's like someone put a free play on the jukebox and it's only for you. So if you want to have an opportunity to have a song played, be like Hypnotic Transmissions or Translations, as I like to call them. Uh, Michael Thompson and Michael, a.k.a. Zeland Band, Shivering Demons, Alex Backus, hashtag crunchy, and you too will go into the draw. And uh, after this next track, we'll be spinning the wheel and seeing who gets a free play on Your Music Live. Before then, someone we've heard from many times, but not recently. And I'm very glad to have them back on the show. And that is Pagan Song. And uh, this they say, this song I came up with on a really cold day a few months ago. It's cold here today. You might hear my heater in the background. Uh, Thermal Winter is the three is the three year in folklore. And I was really cold. And it was really cold that day. Lol. Yeah, a little bit. Look, the, the visualizations on this one uh, have some cold weather implements components as well. Uh, so I'm going to try and say that word again. Fimble Winter by Pagan Song, and we're going to play it right here, right now, on your music. Live.
Um, Pagan Songs music kind of puts you in a trance. And uh, I, I was just sitting here just watching and listening. And it kind of reminds me of, you know, when you go to uh, like a museum and you're walking through like an art exhibition and you've got that music like all around you, like really good sound design. That's what Pagan Song reminds me of. And I think, uh, yeah, if I was a music musician, museum curator, if I owned a museum, when, when I own a museum, I'm going to commission Pagan Song to create all of the cool, ethereal, atmospheric music to, uh, to go along with it. Um, very, very cool stuff. <laughs> uh, yes, Alex, I, uh, I know, just, just to annoy Russ, I just sent out a notification to our Patreon folks because I, I realised that um, I, I made a promise not to, uh, not to share anything on Patreon that wasn't exclusively Patreon stuff, but I also realised that I keep changing the times and days of things, so I just wanted to make sure that folks knew that Your Music Live was on here. But cool folks like Alex are already here. All right, it's time to spin the wheel, the wheel of destiny. No, the wheel of play my fire beat. So I just got to find it. There it is. Uh, you got a good chance here today because uh, just 14 entries. I'll give you about five seconds if you're just joining us. Hashtag crunchy, just like the peanut butter or the granola. Uh, or what else is crunchy? What, what else can you name? Name a thing that's crunchy. We're going to make it a quiz show for a minute here for some reason. But what, crunchy leaves, autumn leaves? Yeah, it's autumn here. I'm, I'm, when I'm out walking, I, I stand on some autumn leaves and it's crunchy. Uh, what else is crunchy? It's a weird word, isn't it? Uh, the candy bar. There's a, a chocolate bar here in Australia called a crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> Change the colour of your day, crunchy. All right, we've got 15 entries here. Let's get a little pagan song. Post. Post. Cheetos. Yep. They're definitely crunchy. Hey, it's crunk song. Uh, let's spin the wheel, shall we? Pagan song is going to be our background. Turn it up. Build the suspense. And it's going to be Michael Thompson. Congratulations to Michael Thompson, who is the winner of our Play My Fire Beat for the first half. Don't worry, though, because we've got another Play My Fire Beat in the second half of the show. So if you missed out on that one, don't stress. Don't worry your pretty little head. You're going to have another opportunity in the second half. So Michael uh, probably knows the drill because he's been around a while. All Michael needs to do is uh, jump here in the chat and leave his name, the platform name, and the name of the track, and we will give it a spin. And remember, no links because links make uh, make me cry. No, they, they make the platform cry because we can't allow links. You know exactly what would happen if we allowed links here. Yeah. It, the people for whom the Play My Fire Beat was named will just be jumping in there, telling us to play their fire beats and spamming us with their links. So unfortunately, the, the, again, the people ruin it for everyone else. The minority ruin it for the majority. Isn't that how life generally works? Uh, so Michael, we'll just be waiting on Michael to, in plain text, just throw in his artist name, the name of the track, and the platform, and we'll give it a spin straight after this one. We're going to play a little Happy Ron. Yeah, haven't heard from Happy Ron in a hot minute. Uh, Happy Ron says, some said Happy Ron's first attempt to write a more rural song didn't sound authentic, so he travelled deep into the holler and co-wrote or cow wrote, as I read it the first time, with an authentic country blues singer. If this isn't authentic, my real name ain't, ain't happy. Right? I like it. Uh, let's jump on over and take a listen to this one. This is Happy Ron and Drop of Soul uh, featuring Rebecca Lynn Howard. Happy Ron and your music live. <laughs> drop of soul in the front you praying on Sunday Lord pick me up from Saturday's lows I get tempted to stray but not all the way cause I got a drop of soul it's a light shining bright when I don't know what I'm supposed to do not to the
it's making my fingers hurt just listening to uh, to some of those chords being played there, right? Some southern, silent like David, we played your track earlier. Uh, yeah, some real southern kind of soul and vibes going on there. Really good. Yeah, a little Bonnie Raitt. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely in the ballpark of some Bonnie Raitt. So yes, uh, happy Ron, your name must be happy because uh, that, was some, that was some swampiness. That was good. I like it. I dig it. I approve. Approved by Johns. Uh, speaking of approved by Johns, uh, we've had our play My Fire Beater. Mr. Michael Thompson has made his selection and he would like us to play this track called See You Again. So we're going to cue this one up for you and give this a spin. Michael Thompson, see you again here on Your Music Live. Michael Thompson there, our play My Fire Beat here for part one of Your Music Live. Short, sweet and awesome from the rock opera called Lily there, Michael Thompson. I, I love folks that like have all these epic projects and write full albums and double albums and rock operas and all this going on. Very cool stuff. Thank you, Michael, for sharing that one. Remember, Sharon is Karen, and Sharon is Karen. Please uh, go ahead if you would like, uh, if you'd like to, if you're enjoying yourself, if you're having some fun, please hit the thumbs up because thumbs up, guns up, I say. don't know what that means, but it's fine. Uh, so thank you for all for being here. Uh, and uh, don't forget, if you're watching on the replay, all the tracks will be linked down in the description. In fact, even if you're here live, I've updated all the tracks we've played so far are now there. So if there's anyone that stood out for you, you want to go follow them, you want to make sure you're supporting the cool artists who share their tracks here, jump down in the description. They're all there and we do it every week here. We've been doing it every week for nearly three years now. And for the vast majority of that time, these folks here, DistroKid, have been supporting the channel, have helped keep the lights on and they support your independent music. They are genuinely passionate folks. Yeah, they're running a business, but you know what? Everyone that I've dealt with at DistroKid, dealt with sounds bad. Everyone that I've hung out with and interacted with at DistroKid, they are music fans first and foremost, and they want to provide a platform for you to get your music out there to the world. Uh, Alex Simmons has, uh, has created and released a, a song here, and uh, he says, Electronica slash glitchy with use of Apple loops and some other samples. And I love the name of this track. It is called Not Economically Viable, which could explain most of our uh, music career. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely mine. In That's why I became a YouTuber. Couldn't, couldn't, becoming a musician was not economically viable. Uh, so let's give this one a spin, shall we? Alex Simmons on Your Music Live.
like it. Very cool stuff there, and uh, yeah, a bit of a bit of a bit of a dancey dance kind of track there. Very good stuff there from Alex Simmons, and not economically viable. The bass tone is economically viable. There you go. And uh, is it? Am I right? Like back when I was a kid, I was told that if you ever see shoes hanging from power lines, it means that there's a drug dealer there. It means if you want to go buy drugs, just look for a pair of shoes strung from a power line. Is that just one of those urban legends? I don't know. I've never been a drug guy. <laughs> Is that one of those urban legend things? It's really just random teenagers just being dicks and throwing shoes over wires. I don't know. I'm probably making it up or misremembering it. I don't know. I think I misremember about as many things as I remember these days. Anyone else in the same camp there? <laughs> as soon as I hit my 40s, um, I'm thinking of things and I'll be like, remember when this happened? And um, oh, my friends or my family will be like, that never happened. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. All right. Uh, Graham Bell, not Alexander, but Graham Bell, says, this is my latest song after coming up with the line, what the heart wants. Yeah, see, sometimes songs just come about because you have a line in your head and then uh, that becomes the rest of the song. So let's give this one a spin, shall we? This is Graham Bell, What the Heart Wants, here on Your Music Live. solo in there from uh, Graham Bell, What the Heart Wants. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it, sometimes when you just hear a line and you build a track around that line. I wrote a song called Never to Blame because I wanted to write a song about people who were never to blame, you know, those sort of people that just, you know, nothing's ever their fault. And uh, yeah, just sometimes the song just writes itself around the one concept. So Graham, you've done a great job there. And uh, yeah, the guitar just sounded beautiful, didn't it? Yeah, very cool. Very nicely done there. Indeed. Uh, we're going to play one more track and then we're going to have our midpoint toilet break, our patented, patent pending, midpoint toilet break. And uh, then we've got a big second half. We've got some cover songs for you. We've got another Play My Fire Beat. We've got another hour of great original tunes for your ear holes. So do hang around for the rest of the show. For now, let's grab our ultimate song of the first half. This is from uh, Shafi Muhammad Jawad, who says, my song Lift Off is an instrumental guitar song that I started making earlier this year, recorded it at home and produced it myself. Slow build up, but a straight vertical launch in the chorus. Hence the name Lift Off. So uh, it's a short song, but it's a good song. It is uh, Shafi Muhammad Jawad. Lift off here on your music live.
I like it. It's like the, uh, the, the perfect, uh, the closing credits of the first half of the show. I thought that was a really cool tune and a cool jam to go out on for the first half. But don't go anywhere because guess what? We're back around for another big hour coming right up. Uh, it is time for our toilet break. You don't have to go anywhere, but let's be honest. Um, if you're watching on your phone anyway, you, why not multitask? You can do two things at once. Um, so we have got uh, a very cool a very cool toilet break for you here today. Many of you may know our mate Russ8889. Well, uh, he has teamed up with the artist that he introduced all of us to, Vero, and has produced a track that we're going to be playing as our Play My Fight. No, wrong one. As our toilet break here today. But what I've done here is, uh, if you're here live, uh, right here in the chat, I've just posted the link to this video because what Russ has done is he shared the stems. In fact, I'll read Russ's comments here. He says, hi, Pete, hope you had a good holiday. I did, mate. Thank you. I made this track with Vero and we decided to put up all the stems for it in the link so people can make their own remixes of the track at either 160 or 80 BPM. Only posted a few days ago and have had some cool remixes. So it's open to everyone. Just follow the link in the description to be able to download the parts. Thanks, Pete, from Russ. 88, 89, and Vero. So I think that that is cool. I love anything that's sharing music and allowing folks to learn from and uh, enhance or maybe just completely change a track. I think it's a really cool idea. So uh, we're going to play this one, take a listen to it, and then jump into the description and download the stems. Have a play with it. Because who knows? Maybe in future shows we'll be playing some remixes of this very track. But for now, it's our toilet break. Vero and Russ 8889 blindsided here on Your Music Live. <laughs> Yeah, 
very nicely done there. Vero and Russ 8889 together and uh, sharing that one. And again, don't forget that uh, you can download the stems to that one right there in the description. There's a link to the Google Drive here. I'll show you exactly where it is. There you go. There's the Google Drive link. Click on that one, download those stems, throw them into your DAW of choice, set your BPM to 80 or 160, and all those stems will line up beautifully. And you too can remix that track. Good stuff indeed. Uh, welcome to the big second half here. Let's say good day to some folks. We've got Cookie, who's made it from the toilet break. Good day to you. Uh, good day to the metal head hippie. Uh, Frank Terzo's here. We've got Mateus. We've got Jerry Gomes. Randy Matson's here. SM Borthwick's here and ready to rock and roll. Lou Reality, one of our wonderful moderators as well. If you're here, say good day. If, you, if you're just chilling and lurking, that's cool too. Uh, but if you're here, why not say good day? Because uh, we love... We love hearing from all of you wonderful folks. Uh, and we also love playing covers because it's time to jump under the covers. And uh, I'm glad that Cookie's here and joining us here, maybe with a bit of Vegemite toast and a coffee uh, early morning for, for him as well as me. Uh, Cookie's shared a cover. He says, my first song recorded on the Focusrite Scarlet Solo Studio. So glad I listened to your recommendation, Pete. I have a fair bit to learn about recording in GarageBand, but having fun doing it. Uh, join me at Ask Cookie on the YouTube for more. Uh, and in fact, it'll be linked down in the description as will all of the tracks we play here today. So uh, this is a little short one because it's a YouTube short to get us started here. So let's jump on over and take a look and a listen to Cookie playing some Tom Petty here. Mary Jane's Last Dance on your music live. Well, she grew up in this Indiana town Had a good-looking mama, never was around She grew up tall, she grew up right Those Indiana boys, Indiana nights Well, she moved down here at the age of 18. She blew the boys away, it was more than 18. I was introduced, both started grooving. She said, I dig your baby, I'll keep moving on. She kept moving on. She kept moving on. She kept moving on. Very cool stuff there from Cookie here on your music live. A little bit of Tom Petty goodness there. And uh, yeah, it, it is great. Like I love it when folks like Cookie, um, and by the way, thank you, Cookie. He sent me a, a t-shirt and a hat, uh, a shirt and a hat during the week. Uh, very cool. I'm always down. I'll, I'll wear your wares. I'm always looking for, <laughs> for, for different t-shirts to wear. Like the vast majority of my wardrobe is made up of, uh, of shirts that folks have sent me. So I'm, I'm, I'm never, uh, I'm always going to wear, uh, wear my heart on my sleeve and, uh, your brand or your logos on my chest so thank you cookie for that one and um yeah it, it's great to hear that because someone that's getting back into music or getting started into music and it's as simple like we live in the future folks as cookie said there grabbed himself a focus right scarlet solo plugs in the guitar and the vocals starts playing and recording and you, you generate a really nice tone you can you can create yourself some good music you don't need all the bells and whistles it's easy to get started and easy to create good sounding music using very a little more than uh, than yourself, than your guitar and your voice, and go for it. All right, one more cover here. We only got a couple of covers. We light on the covers. You got some epic covers out there. Where's Where's our friend? Um, uh, uh, who was it that uh, black black covers? Haven't heard from black covers in a in a hot minute. So if you got some cover songs, do share them. Uh, this one comes to us from uh, from Charlie. Uh, this is I see red. Everybody loves an outlaw. And he just says it's a cover song that I recorded and sang. So we're going to give this one a spin. Love the background here, by the way. How cool does that look? Let's play this uh, here on Your Music Live Under the Covers. Did you really think just forgive and forget, no After catching you with him You know your blood should run cold So cold You You're too 
time and keep lying won't be your fool If you thought that I'll just let this go I'll see you real, real, oh real Come to your head, head, all to your head in those vocals um just that little bit of grit and roughness on the edges just works perfectly with the tone of the guitar there from charlie uh, really really cool stuff and yeah on the topic of uh, of cover songs uh, as, as clay conspiracy music says here charlie got a strike for an eagles cover that he did a year ago so i mean i'm someone who produces a lot of cover songs i do a, a weekly show where i play nothing but covers i Thankfully, fingers crossed and touch wood, I've never received a strike. I get claims out the wazoo. So every week I play and it, it's, it's almost like a test of how well I've played the song. However many copyright claims I get, if I play 12 songs and I get like 10 copyright claims, I'm like, oh, I was pretty good this week. I played songs that were recognizable. <laughs> the algorithm found them. Because remember, it's it's the algorithm, folks. Um, yeah, the, the eagles aren't sitting back there listening to all of this stuff. It's just an algorithm that identifies it. And you're usually okay with cover songs. I say usually, for whatever reason, the only time I hear of horror stories, it relates to the Eagles. So maybe skip those Eagles covers for now if you want to play it safe. But every other artist I've played, Pearl Jam covers and Nirvana covers and Green Day, and I've played like all the different acoustic artists and, and plenty of different songs from every era. Uh, still yet to have a strike, but you will get claims. But don't stress about your claim. Claims don't mean anything. I've, I've got a countless number of copyrights. And even when I play these songs here on Your Music Live, not just the covers, but people that put content ID on their original songs, I'll get a copyright claim for each and every one of them, which is totally fine. That, that I, I accept that. And that's why it's important to have uh, the wonderful distro kid on board because uh, their their sponsorship of this show means that I don't have to I don't monetize this show at all. I, I don't I don't deliberately place ads on here. The only time you'll see ads here on your music live are for distro kid or if uh, they get added in there by YouTube after the fact because folks have put content ID. So uh, do do try not to put content ID on your music. I mean, do what you want. You do you boo. But my recommendation is as an independent artist, it is more annoying. You'll irritate more people than you'll actually make any money uh, by putting content ID. Because remember, in order for you to make money for your song being played on a YouTube show or a YouTube channel, that channel has to be monetized. Your song has to be played on that. The content claim has to work. The automated system has to work. And then you'll get, what, four cents? Like, unless, you get, unless you're planning for your song to be played as a background of a Mr. Beast video and you're going to get millions of views you're really not going to make your money or your effort back. So I say, stay away. Friends don't let friends use content ID. Speaking of friends, Clint uh, Kelleher, Phantom Agents. Uh, I saw you here in the chat. I know it's it's morning wrangling time. I'm lucky enough that my wife is wrangling my children so that I can do this show. But uh, Clint is wrangling children. He's got a track here called 99 Degrees Below. And uh, we're going to give it a spin here to kick us off in the big second half here on Your Music Live. <laughs> Oh, 
me I know he wrote Don't even ask me how Standing at the low zero Would seem like fear to me now Down in the deep, the deep, deep freeze what was I thinking of? After dinner, missing you, lover And the coffee so bitter and black Your fingerprints, they cover the love sticking out of my back Where else can lie in the heavens I surrender to the rain The pistols are praying like madness from above I'm going out with a band From my north to find details You should have Warm your gloves Now I've got a going down And a heart disease called love Clint Kelleher, Phantom Agent. Clint, your stuff is going from strength to strength, my friend. Uh, Clint's been sharing music here on the show and uh, in the community for a while now. And, uh, yeah, you're consistently improving uh, both your songwriting and your production. So, well done, my friend. Good stuff. Great track. Cool song. Cool video. All round goodness. Uh, next up, we got, uh, we're going to have to keep moving here because uh, we've got Jade Star coming up in 45 minutes. And uh, I've been rabbiting on about various uh, bollocks. And uh, we don't want to go long. We don't want to miss out on anyone's songs. So I'm going to start moving a little quicker here. We're going to play this one from DJ Normal Norman, which is a great name, just quietly, uh, who says, please play from 225. It's a deep, organic house with a summer feel made with GarageBand on iPad and finished in Logic. I can do that. Let's, uh, let's cue this one up to 225, right about there. And we'll give this one a spin. It's called Pillow Talk here on your music live. cool though doesn't it suits the track really well and uh, as much as i like those visuals whenever i see those you know like uh, big burning man style party in the desert raves god it makes me feel gross because uh yeah i do not want to be involved i'm way too old for any of that i'm like the guy on lethal weapon i'm like too old for this schnizzle um yeah i don't like that <laughs> i like it. if i go to music uh, gigs i like to have a seat and i like to have um uh, access to a bar and uh, and a bathroom because I'm an old man. 
<laughs> but yeah, very cool groove on that one indeed from DJ Normal Norman. Excellent stuff. Uh, we're going to play one more tune here and then we are going to do our Play My Fire Beat Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. This one comes to us from Moths on Leaves, the name of the band that's very bad for people with a lisp. Uh, it is John W. Adams, collaboration with lifelong friend Andres Cabrera. A sample song, a simple song even, about a morning stoner imagining a tryst on a train. Ha. Huh. Enjoy. Oh, it's a shame you'll only play a minute because you're going to miss Andy's smoking guitar solo at the end. But why don't I play the last minute? You don't know, man. <laughs> if there's a smoking guitar solo at the end, let's play it from here. Why not? <laughs> we got the power. We got slaps.com at our fingertips. Let's give this one a spin, shall we? Uh, it's called Miles Later, and we're going to play it from the middle here on Your Music Live. stuff there yeah a little bit of Jude Kapana vibe which is I love that I love the deep cut of someone uh, comparing it to someone that's part of this community as well people are like who's Jude Kapana yeah you should check out Jude Kapana make some great tracks very cool stuff there uh, yeah nice nice little walk down chord progression with that nice kind of seventh chord at the end very good stuff indeed from John W. Adams and uh, Andres Andres Cabrera Cabrera, uh, Cabrera, yes. Uh, so jump over to slaps.com, check that one out. But for now, guess what? We need to. Uh, I need to queue up. I need to queue up our little randomness generator because uh, we're going to give you another chance, another opportunity to uh, to win yourself a free play here on Studio Live. Today is your music live, and let's just go. Uh, let's go simple, shall we? Because you don't know what show you're watching, I'm sure you probably do, uh, we call this uh, Your Music Live or YML. So why don't you put a hashtag YML here in the chat if you'd like an opportunity to have your song played right here, right now, today, here on the show. So hashtag YML is the keyword for our second our second Play My Fire beat. While we do that, let's get a little bit of serendipity here because Michael Thompson... <laughs> <laughs> he won our first Play My Fire beat, and uh, he also had a track that he'd submitted and he had on the playlist already. So you get a double dose of Michael Thompson. He says, hi, Pete, we finally got the first original song out for the year. This is from my CD called Songs from a Red Sky, and it's a reflection of how music moved my life. Thanks for supporting the community. And uh, that's from Michael Thompson. So let's give this tune a spin. Music is your music life.
stuff there, Michael Thompson, bringing the rockin' vibe. Love that guitar work, love the drums in that one, love the vocals, just a really good stuff. Again, Michael Thompson continuing to make amazing music, an absolute rocker, that one there. All right, once again, we got uh, we got ourselves 15 entries, so I think that's pretty uh, pretty good again. Uh, and we've got uh, no time here, because we've only got uh, 33 minutes left. So let's hit the draw button, let's bring some Michael Thompson back in. No, nope, Michael, his track finished. I, I paused it. Let's bring Michael back in and hit the pin button. Who's going to win a free play on your music live? It's going to be the one and only Hit Rocket Transmissions. I promise I didn't hypnotize anyone to make that be the winner. But Hypnotic Transmissions, and look, I've said your name correctly more times than incorrectly in the show so far, so that's pretty darn cool. Um, feel free to uh, choose a song from your back catalogue, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and uh, we'll play that right up next. But uh, because we're short on time, I'm going to continue on here, and while we wait for Hypnotic Transmissions to decide, we're going to play this one from uh, Anshin, who says, Eyes was written after a chance encounter with a grocery store worker that had really pretty eyes. Long story. It was recorded, mixed, and mastered all in GarageBand iOS, thanks to the helpful tips from Pete Johns. Oh, well, very cool. Well, uh, if it rocks, I'll take full credit. If No, no, no thank you. I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad that anything I do can help you folks create great music. So this is Anshin and Eyes here on Your Music Live. That is a jam. Did you hear that bass? Did you hear that uh, guitar, like the wailing guitar there, and the great vocals like that? That's some solid production right there. Hey, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking full ownership. <laughs> I'm more than happy to say yes. I helped uh, create that. No, really good stuff. Really well done. Great song. Well produced. Well written. And uh, yeah, really well performed. You found some great tones in that bass and in that guitar there. Lovely stuff, as uh, S.M. Borthwick says here. Uh, the winner of our play, My Fire Beat, was digital. No, it wasn't. It was hypnotic transmissions. That confused me because they chose one song and then they chose another song. But that's okay because we know they're cool because the song that they've, uh, they've landed on here, which is uh, this one here. It is called Signals. And you know they're cool because look at that. Provided to YouTube by who? Distro Kid, you know it. So we're going to give this one a spin. The winner of our Play My Firebeat Part 2 Electric Boogaloo, Hypnotic Transmissions, and the con from The Conduit, this one's called Signals.
Indeed, there. I love it. Uh, hello, Mars Capone. Hello, Doorways into Music. Uh, welcome. Welcome aboard. Uh, that was uh, Hypnotic Transmissions and Signal. And in another weird twist of, uh, of coincidental serendipity, <laughs> guess who's next on the playlist? Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't know it, but uh, it's Hypnotic Transmissions. <laughs> so uh, we have the double Michael Thompson, and now we've got a twofer of Hypnotic Transmission. So uh, this one is the song that they actually submitted using the link right there, studiolivetoday.com slash YML. And they say it's a late night chill vibe that just lets the listener just groove to the crackle of a record with some melancholy synths and keys bobbing their heads to the beat. You can start it at 56 seconds because the intro is long and somber. This was made, mixed and mastered all in Garage Band. Brilliant stuff. So uh, let's cue this one up to around about that 56 second mark that looks about right and give this one a spin it is called turning to dust on your music line Transmissions, uh, two for two for one. There, that one is called "Turning to Dust." And go and uh, go and check out. Look, why wasn't I subscribed? Go and check out Hypnotic Transmissions. Oh, that's because that's the uh, topic channel. But uh, Hypnotic Transmissions, pl- creating great music, releasing it with DistroKid. I mean, just just kicking goals, taking names, doing all the good things. So thank you for sharing that one. We've got ourselves nine songs left, and we've only got twenty four minutes. So. 
I'm going to get a move on. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start playing. So get ready for a deluge of amazing music, including this one from Rob Jeffries, who says, created entirely on the synth storm deluge with vocal samples. It is called Stars, and we're going to play it right now. Rob Jeffries here on Your Music Live. That's one that's uh, going on to the admin playlist. If, you, if you're new to the channel, I have a playlist that uh, I put songs like that that are just nice, chilled, laid-back kind of instrumental tunes onto for uh, for paying bills and replying to emails and doing all that uh, all that fun admin stuff. Uh, but I love it. I love a, a nice, just a laid-back, chilled kind of almost lo-fi beat. But yeah, very very quirky, very quirky, very creative indeed. Good stuff there from Rob Jeffries. We're going to move straight on because, again, we're short on time. Shivering Demons say, hey, Pete. I've uh, been a fan of this show for over a year now and just want to thank you again for your great work. Busting Through is a song about being comfortable in your own skin and not letting ignorant people get to you. Here, here. Uh, it is the first song on the album, so you can skip to the in skip the intro to the 40-second mark. Well, only because we are short on time, let's do exactly that and play this one. Shivering Demons, Busting Through. Your music. <laughs> too hippie that was uh that's a cool jam that's right up my alley that's from that's old school 
that's old school sort of 90s style, uh, not, not really grunge, more just that, that sludgy, almost shoegazy kind of rock sound going on there. Shivering Demons and a great track there. By the way, all the tracks are now down in the description. We've revealed, we've lifted the curtain. So if you want to find out what we're playing for the rest of the show, you can jump down below. Farewell, Michael, aka Zealand Band. I hope you have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, let's jump in and uh, grab our next tune. This one comes to us from uh, Audion Azurium. says, Made in Garage Band iPad. I finally did mixing. <laughs> Lol. Yes. Uh, isn't it fun when you've got songs and you're like, I should probably mix that at some point. And this one is called The Opposed Hero. Azurium on your music live. <laughs> glad it said game music there because it definitely reminded me of like video game style music i saw the super mario movie on the weekend and uh, yeah remind me a bit of a nintendo kind of vibe there on that one good stuff there from uh from uh, azurium the opposed hero very nice instrumental track there yeah look uh, because it's garage band sometimes you can kind of hear that can't you so scott's been around garage band a while and you get a little bit of that pumping and look if it's a deliberate effect cool no harm no foul but yeah if you do turn if you just sort of tone down the the bass a bit you can get a much sort of smoother and uh, mellow beat there uh, going on Sorry, I had to sneeze. Got my got my finger on the mute, though. I did all right. Uh, let's jump back to Slaps.com. Don't forget Slaps.com is the free service from DistroKid, our wonderful sponsors. And Gary Ford has been sharing amazing music over on Slaps.com. And he says about this one, soon to be available on my debut album. Hope you like it. Well, I've liked everything that Gary has produced thus far. So I'm sure we've got no exception here. And I'm looking forward to checking out that album. Hopefully... Going to be releasing on Distro Kid, Gary. No pressure, but uh, you're a smart man. I'm pretty sure you would release it using Distro Kid. Uh, this one is called Forevermore. Gary Ford, your music. <laughs>
Barry Ford just makes the catchiest, boppiest, poppiest, rockiest tunes going around. Love it a lot. And again, I can just uh, put down here, just spun this on YML. Everyone seemed to dig it. Because you did. I, ho I saw you. I saw your comments there. Very good stuff there from uh, Gary Ford. And uh, yeah, inspirational stuff there. Looking forward to that first album, Gary. Uh, keep an eye out for that one. And uh, once again, all the tracks, including that one from Gary, are linked down in the description. Uh, I got a, a message from the, our next artist, whose name is Pete Jones. And his name is actually Pete John Jones, apparently, which is very similar to, uh, to a certain guy. <laughs> and he says, uh, Tide is the second track of the upcoming EP of the same name, released on the 31st of March, 2023. With this new musical direction, Pete embraces a heavier sound with more alternative rock and grunge elements. He explores themes of mental health struggles, anxiety, panic attacks, and trauma. And uh, we're going to play this one over on the Cloud of Sounds. If that sounds like the sort of thing you'd like to play and listen to, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. This is Pete Jones, not to be confused with any other names, and uh, their brand new song called Tide. And we're going to play it as soon as SoundCloud decides to let me play it here on your music live. Let's do it. Very cool stuff there from Pete Jones. Not only a name that sounds like mine, but the sort of music that I really dig as well. Great stuff there. Thank you for sharing. My friends, we have about 10 minutes left. So if I feel like I'm rushing, if it feels like I'm rushing through, I kind of am. But uh, we're still, we're going to play just as much music. I'm just going to say less. So in that vein, Patrick Moonbird has a track here. He says, my song is a catchy 80s inspired pop song and is about saying sorry for saying hurtful things to your partner and trying to heal the wounds with flirting again. I like it. Heal those wounds with a little flirting. I like it. Uh, let's give this one a spin. It is called Destiny. Patrick Moonbird, your music live.
been a big fan of Patrick Moonbird for a very long time. Someone else who's been uh, around the community creating some great lo-fi sounds for a very long time. And uh, yeah, I just dig it. He's just got a vibe. He's just got a, a knack for creating vibes and creating cool little motifs and melodies. Uh, and it's just awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. Very smooth. Very smooth indeed. Uh, Patrick Moonbird. We've got a couple more songs for you here, and we've only got a few minutes to play them, so we're going to race to the end here, but not before we listen to uh, this one from our old mate Jonathan Linton. He's been sharing some covers lately, but he's got a brand new original reggae song called Babylon Fall, and we're going to play it for you right here, right now on Your Music Live. That's cool. That's some legitimately solid reggae right there from Jonathan Linton. Uh, yeah, you listen to his sort of grungy Alice in Chains inspired rock and then you listen to that and you're like, this is the same bloke? Really? That's next level cool. Very good stuff there. Uh, I think I definitely played a Hubs and Hetriani jam recently. I'm not sure. I, I don't think I've had a submission for their new one, but uh, we're, we're really low on time today, hippie. So probably next week if, if they submit it or in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm keeping it to a tight two hours, which sounds sounds weird to say, oh, I'm only doing two hours of music, but I know in the, in the grand scheme of things, two hours is nothing because there's so much good music produced including uh, this one, which is going to be our ultimate song. This one's from Jerry Gomes with Hugh Cordwell. And they say, hello, Pete. This is a song that came to me while doing the breakfast dishes. It features the great Hugh Cordwell on electric guitar. Recorded in Garage Band, mastered by Jade Star to take us home on this edition of Your Music Live. Let's play Home, Jerry Gomes, Hugh Cordwell, Your Music Live. Where I used 
sneak in a little bit of that uh, cool little guitar lick solo there. Very cool stuff there from Jerry Gomes and Hugh Caldwell. Amazing mastering by Jade Starr there, as always. And uh, as always, it's been an amazing array of amazing tracks here. Don't forget, they're all linked down in the description. So if you didn't get enough of it during the show here, you can jump down there. Don't forget, Jade Star is up next. You'll get the Royal Dump service straight over to Jade after this show. I just need to make sure that that's actually set up uh, to make sure it happens. But Jade, if you're here last minute, throw the link in to the chat or uh, otherwise, just head over to Jade Star. I have no idea what she's looking at today, but I'm sure it's going to be super duper cool. Um, that's usually the end of the show, but I'm going to play a minute of a bonus track here uh, because our wonderful moderator and friend Thomas Christ, uh, as we mentioned yesterday on the happy hour, he lost his mum uh, just uh, in the last week and uh, we had to play a little Thomas Christ. So like the best CDs of the 90s, we're going to take you out with a bonus track here and we're going to play a little bit of this one. One of my favourite Thomas Christ songs is called Fail Harder. It's got a great message and it absolutely rocks. So uh, we love you, Tom. And I love all of you. Thank you for hanging out here. Thank you to Distro Kid for supporting the channel. And uh, don't forget to join us next time here on Studio Live Today and your music live. Bye for now, folks.